In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can block any website on your device. It can be an Android device, an Apple device, a Windows computer, anyone. So yeah, let's begin. So first of all, you need to head over to this website and then you register. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And after you've created your account, you just, um, you just scroll down and then you're going to get to the setup guide. I'm currently using an Android device, but um, you can select any of the device you use here. So if you're using an Apple device, or an iPhone you select this but the process is the same so I'll select Android and then normally you would copy this and um, paste it in your DNS settings but um, for every other device you just need to download the application that um, next DNS has so just tap on this to download the application if you use an Apple device you tap on this to head over to the App Store and um, you have other devices as well that you can select so you tap on this and it's going to take you to the Play Store and you see this app with an install button here. So you tap on it to install it. After it's done installing, you tap on open and this is what it looks like. So first we're going to go back to the website. Maybe I should have done this earlier, but it's still the same thing. So you copy this code over here. Your code will be different from mine. So keep that in mind. So after copying it, you go back to the app and then you tap on this and make sure this is turned on normally it should be turned off so turn it on and it's going to ask you to paste the code so you paste and you tap ok and that's it you go back and then you tap on this to activate it now a VPN connection is going to be created on your device and um, that means that your device is now connected to next DNS so you head back to next DNS and um, it's going to say all good the device is using next dns with this configuration so to start blocking the websites you swipe this to the left and then you tap on deny list and now you can add the websites you wish to block i've already added tiktok but then i'm going to add facebook so any website you want you can add after typing the website in you tap on this to apply it as you can see Facebook.com has been added, so it's going to be blocked whenever you try to access it. So I'm going to try to head to Facebook.com. So as you can see, I've already input the address Facebook.com. I'll tap on this. So as you can see, it says the site cannot be reached. Sometimes it will say this site is not secure, and you get a button down here that says continue to site, I think. And if you tap on it, this is what's going to happen. So if I try going to TikTok, because I have already blocked it, you can see down here it says this site cannot be reached. So that's how you block websites. And if you ever decide to unblock the website, then you just have to come back to next DNS and then you, you can either disable the block or you just tap on this to delete the website entirely if you don't want to ever block it again. But you can always add them back by including them in the domain name. I'm going to enable Facebook because TikTok will just take you to the app. So I'll just tap on this. And then head back to Facebook and if I reload, I should be able to access Facebook. So just to recap on what you have to do to block websites on your device. First, register on NextDNS. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Next, you head over to the setup page and then you download the app for your device. If it's an Android device, you select Android. If it's an Apple device, you select Apple. And then you tap on this to download the app. After downloading the app, you input your code in the space that will be provided in the app. And then after that, you come back to next DNS and then you swipe this. You tap on deny list and then you input the websites you want to block on your device. And after that, you head over to the app and then you make sure this is turned on. That's it. That's how you block websites on any of your devices. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.